We're at the 25th CROI. We're here with Niklas from the Swiss Tropical and Health Institute. And Public Health and, Institute. And Public Health. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, I, I wanted to make sure that we cover this because it's really important. It's, a, it's the subject that you're covering is, is um, you know, treating people the same day as they're tested, which I think has been done before, but not as a, such so aggressively. And I think, set us up on that, how that came to pass, how you decided that would be a good way to go. I think it very much depends on the setting. Now, the setting we are working is in rural Les Situ, where actually one out of four adults is HIV positive. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult that these people get tested at the clinic. So what often happens is that teams from the clinic go out to the villages to test the people there. Mm -hmm. And this works quite well. We know that more than 90% accept testing. Mm -hmm. However, what we also see is that once tested positive, only one out of three then goes to the clinic to start mm -hmm. antiretroviral therapy. So this is what we call linkage to care. So when, when you, in that scenario, you have told them, you've done a, a, a counseling session of some sort <laughs> saying that this is what's going to happen. You know, you were thorough enough to make sure that you believed that they would have a, a, a good chance of coming back. Yet they didn't. Exactly. Yeah. And so the idea of this trial was why don't we try out to give them the medication right when we are at their household. So they test positive, then they get all the explanation, and then those randomized in the same day on, we left a bottle of pills for the first 30 days at the household. Mm -hmm. After these 30 days, they had to go to the clinic like everyone else and to get the follow-up there. But it is kind of like the entry point, the, the moment of starting a oh, was okay. very much simplified. You, you just lower the threshold by just saying, okay, we explained to you about AOT, here are the pills. There's you no reason start. we have to wait. Exactly. Because we're, this, whatever we're going to do a week later or a month later is going to be done today. Exactly. So how do, how do you find the follow-up, the second dose, uh, the second uh, bottle pills? Are they coming along with that pretty quickly? Or? Exactly. So what we saw is that 70% come within time to the clinic and get their next bottle. 30% some then afterwards said, no, we didn't feel like starting. Others said, well, we went to another clinic, etc. But at least we have now 70% who continued Which the treatment. Which is way better than the other. Exactly. Yeah. Could, could you um, ramp that up maybe by giving them, uh, there's no way to contact them. We don't have cell phones and stuff like that. So they're really just a matter of the, the communication, the transportation is all part of the problem, is that correct? Well, the transportation is the main issue. So many have to walk maybe two hours, three hours through mountains in winter in Lesotho, uh -huh. actually there's snow. So this is a big issue. There are cell phones nowadays in Sub-Saharan Africa. Sometimes they're working, sometimes there's network, sometimes it's not working, but it's not that reliable. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of, I, I always try to find ways to make things that aren't working that well improve a little bit. But I'm thinking maybe they could just uh, maybe uh, find a way to one week before have some sort of a, a, you know, just to get them launched properly. You already did the first big job of changing that, the outcome of that first visit is now merged with the, the testing. So I'm just thinking if you couldn't say, okay, we, can we get another 10% or 20% by saying, okay, we're going to make another visit a week before you're you know, say, how are you doing with your pills, you know, because we're ready to give you another batch, even though you still have five days left or six days left. I, I see you are about to write up the follow-up protocol of the next <laughs> study. <laughs> However, what you have to be aware is um, going to visit and revisit these people is extremely resource yeah. intensive. I mean, you cannot have a nurse drive three hours through the mountains just to yeah. meet or not to meet a yeah. patient and yeah. drive back. So. What the idea of our follow-up project is that actually in these villages you have what we call village health workers. These are lay people who have some basic training. So what we now want to do is that these village health workers actually keep a stock of medication. 
yeah. and that people who start AOT and who are doing fine, so they just want to get the next pills, they can get these pills right from the village health worker who's two or three households next, mm -hmm. and they only go to the clinic if they feel sick, if they really right, need medical right, care. Right, right. Do they, this village health healthcare worker, are they like a... Uh, trained physician or are they just like a, they're not, no. No, no, no. They're just so a person that knows. Just to get things a bit into reality, if you go to a clinic, a rural clinic in Lesotho with HIV, you see a nurse okay. if you are at the clinic. Okay. So in the village, you see somebody who has completed primary school and got a 14-day training okay. on basic health issues. Right. So this is very basic, right. but it works. Yeah, well, that's what you got to do is you got to make it so it's a practical uh, situation. So um, this is really amazing. I mean, it's it's uh, it seemed to be like you, you conquered a huge challenge there that now is maybe slightly able to improve over time. And as, as soon as you can, I mean, it's because we really have to get to the 90, 90, 90, and that you've kind of gotten to the first 90. And, and, the, and the second 90, like that, you know. Now, successful treatment is, is really a matter of whether they keep coming back. Because like Mike Sag said many years ago, what are the pills that, that work? The ones that they take. So, and, and realistically, the, the pills that they're getting are probably gonna work if they, if they take them. So, um, is there anything else you wanted to impart here? Because I think this is really, our, our, our audience is usually community and some medical providers, nurses, some case managers, so they'd probably be excited about hearing what's going on in, in, uh, in Af part Southern Africa. I think just one last thing maybe that's important to understand when we talk about rural Africa. As you said, the drugs we have there, they are working. And actually they also work if it is a lay person or a nurse who provides the drug. The challenge is really how to bring the drug to the patient or the patient to the drug. That's, that's the direction of thinking we have to take if we really want to achieve 90, 90, 90 in these areas. Okay. Well, it, it seems like you've got a, a good handle on it. And I think when you, when you do your assessments, you probably do a 360, you get everybody involved say, how are we doing, how can we do better, and so forth. I mean, I'm not presuming that I know what to do. I'm just throwing stuff out there at you because I, I see this as wonderful and, and it, can, it can get better. Always look at options to make things better. So we thank you very much for being thank here. Thank you very much. Thank you.